Colin Mangan. And I'm Paul Estella. We're here at our first Athletic Signing Day here at OHS. The Athletic Signing Day is an event where all the high school athletes who plan on attending college for sports are honored. Let's hand it off to our Master of Ceremonies, Christopher Klein. So let's begin. Joseph Doherty, Western Connecticut State College, Boys Lacrosse. Connor Hartman, Lycoming College, Boys Lacrosse. Dylan Judd, University of Massachusetts, Baseball. Matthew Lark, Manhattanville College, Boys Lacrosse. Alexa Mahali, University of Vermont, Soccer. Ronnie Riley, Mercy College, Girls Lacrosse. And Joseph Vita, Manhattanville College, Boys Lacrosse. I'd like to now turn it to our Director of Athletics, Jeffrey Reisner. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. And good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to our first signing ceremony of the school year 2017 and 18. Uh, just a couple of things I want to say. First, um, today is another memorable moment for your kids and their lives. Sports, in my opinion, is filled with memorable moments. We could all think about things that have happened in their lives and your own lives in terms of sports over the years. So this is another one of those days that will truly be memorable. Your kids going on to play at the next level for the next four years. So I have an expression, the next four years will make the next 40 years of their life. The next four years will make the next 40 years of your <laughs> life. So good luck. We are all who we are because of the education that we've received. So I wish you all good luck. Um, today we honor and celebrate these seven student athletes committing to, committed to continue their academic and athletic careers. So my personal belief is having played college athletics, my son played college athletics and went to Oceanside High School, I really believe that there is a place for everybody. And we will do all we can to help these student athletes, any student athlete in our school district with the support of our Board of Education, our administration, Dr. Harrington, to find a place for them. And I think we've done that along with Coach Luisi, who's been instrumental in this process. Coach, I thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, he's really done a great job. So that being said, we're thrilled that they have found a place where they will play the next four years. Speaking of thanks, Dr. Harrington is here, our number one supporter, our Board of, our board of Education, who supports our athletic program, Mrs. DiCarlo, the assistant principals, the guidance counselors are here, some of the coaches, and I apologize if the coaches can't, some of the other coaches cannot be here today, but they are teaching in other buildings and we tried to get them to get here, but the situation was us that had to cover their classes, so we apologize for that. Um, Mrs. Miller and her film studio crew, thank you to Mrs. Miller. This is like better than MSG Varsity. Okay. I've been in the studios at MSG Varsity Sports Channel. Not as good as this, Mrs. Miller. So thank you very much to your crew and to you. An outstanding job. Uh, thanks to the coaches for coming. I mentioned the guidance counselors. Chris, thank you for, for doing this for us. And um, let's go on with the program, Mrs. Miller. Thank you.
I'm here with Joe Vita, who will be going to Manhattanville next year for lacrosse. So Joe, when did you start playing lacrosse? Probably I think about like fourth grade and then I got back into it. I started playing seriously in like sixth grade, like since then I guess. So you played football when you were a freshman. Why did you stick with lacrosse? I always liked football, but um, I was always a little smaller, and then I kind of got more into lacrosse, and it's, it's like a big commitment, so I wanted to concentrate more on like school and lacrosse and that kind of stuff. So. so who do you think helped you the most throughout your lacrosse career? Helped me the most? Probably be my mom. Like She always like, talked to me about like whether like, I needed help with like, playing stuff, or just like not really coaching-wise, but just she was always there for me. So, so uh, how do you think you'll be able to contribute for Manhattanville next year? I'm hoping to like start off contributing as a freshman, hopefully, and just get out on midfield and do good and like score goals and whatever. So it should be fun. The coach is really nice and everything. So, all right, this has been Joe Vita. Good luck next year, Joe. Thanks. Hi, Colin Mankin here with Joe Doherty. So, Joe, you've played multiple sports here at the high school. What made you choose to play lacrosse at college? Um, I grew up playing lacrosse, and I think that I really grew for a passion here, and uh, it really feels like a family. So do you feel like playing lacrosse has made you a better person? Uh, yeah, I'd definitely say that it made me a better person throughout life and even physically and mentally. And now what do you hope to bring to the lacrosse team at Western Connecticut State College? Um, I hope to bring uh, starting position my freshman year and um, try to improve my game and my school. Joe Doherty, Joe Doherty thank you very much. I'm here with Matt Lark, who will be playing lacrosse next year at Manhattanville. So, Matt, when did you start playing lacrosse? Um, second grade, so it's been a while. Ten years now. So, who do you think helped you the most throughout your lacrosse career? Uh, probably my parents just signed me up for stuff, getting me the work I need to do. So, what stood out the most about Manhattanville? Um, it's a great school, small school, um, good business program, so that's what I like to do. So you and Joe Vito will be going to the same school next year. How do you think you guys will be able to contribute for Manhattanville? Um, I think we could both be a big part of the team. Uh, it'll be a good time to be with him and my good friends. All right, this has been Matt Lark. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Good luck. Now I'm here with Connor Hartman. So Connor, what motivates you to play? Uh, I guess because a lot of my family members play the cross and uh, I look up to most of them. So what does it mean to play at the lacrosse team at Lycoming College? Uh, I think it's a new opportunity for me, and uh, hopefully I'll get a great education there. You know, have a good time. And how do you think it will be different from high school? Uh, it's going to be a lot faster, a lot more, uh, a lot more stronger play, I guess. It's going to be a lot harder for me. And what will you miss most about Oceanside? Uh, probably my friends. Connor Hartman, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Paul Estelle, and I'm here with Dylan Judd, who will be attending University of Massachusetts for baseball next year. So, Dylan, when did you start playing baseball? Uh, I started when I was like four years old, played with my uh, older brother. I uh, played ever since. Mm -hmm. So, you're a four year varsity football player. Why'd you choose baseball over football? Uh, I've been playing baseball my entire life. Uh, I'm better at it, um, I have more fun. I just, I don't know, I love football as well, but baseball is my passion. Yeah. Who helped you the most throughout your baseball career? Uh, I would say my first teacher would be probably my dad. I mean, he taught me everything I know, basically. And then learning from my older brother would be the two main mentors, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. Um, for any young baseball players in Oceanside, what advice do you have for them? Uh, just get in the cage as much as possible, put in as much work. Um, it's all about heart. It's not really about how talented you are. And uh, if you love it, then the game will be good to you. What's uh, the most about uh, University of Massachusetts? Uh, I don't know. I just like their overall campus, uh, their practice facilities. Uh, the coaching staff is awesome, and uh, I just felt like I was at home when I went there, so I think that's what makes it special to me. Right. This has been Dylan Judd. Thank you very much. Good luck next year. Thank you. So now Dylan has been a valuable member of the team. What are some of his best qualities? Yeah, Dylan, Dylan has been with us since his freshman year. He started for us. Uh, he's very versatile. As a freshman, he started at second base. Then he's moved to catcher uh, for his sophomore and junior year. And he's 
the best offensive catcher in Nassau County. And he's uh, one of our highest batting average players as well. So he's a well-rounded player. And what advice do you have for Dylan as he goes off to college? Yeah, I would just say to keep working hard and continue to try to outwork everyone around you. Um, stay aggressive. You know, Dylan has the ability now to finally focus on one sport, considering he's a two-sport athlete in high school. So I think being able just to focus on baseball is going to take his game to the next level. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Reisner, the athletic director here at Oceanside. So, Mr. Reisner, what do you think the significance of this event is? Well, Paul, I think, as I said in the opening comments, uh, uh, here at Oceanside High School, we believe that all of our student athletes, if they want to, should have the ability to play in college the next four years to study and prepare for their careers. So I think four years of college make the next 40 years of your life, and hopefully we can help them find a place where they could play and study and uh, you know, do all the things that they would like to do uh, in terms of athletics and academics in college. So you mentioned that you believe every athlete, every athlete here in Oceanside has a place in college for sports. Um, what, do you, what advice do you have for maybe like freshmen or sophomores who aspire to play in college as well? Well, number one, to enjoy the experience of play, um, playing, study, study as hard as they can, uh, do as well as they can in school. That's number one. And then uh, uh, they continue their athletic careers, have fun, enjoy the moments that they have on the athletic fields and, and courts. And when they get to be juniors and seniors, start thinking about where they'd like to go to school. We have a great program here for our student athletes, and we would do all we can to help them. Thank you, Mr. Eisen. Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks. It sure was a great signing day today. I'm Colin Mangan with the Sailor Station. For all things Sailor Nation, we are the Sailor Station.